Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to History at War. Today, we embark on a journey through history, delving into the heroic combat of a true combat legend. Join us as we peer into the courageous actions of Franz Staudegger during the historic Battle of Kursk, overcoming all odds. A very underrated tank commander. The Panzerkampfwagen VI, commonly known as the German Tiger Tank, gained a fearsome reputation in World War II and continues to captivate both scholars and the general public to this day. One of the reasons for its legendary status is the exceptional commanders who led these powerful machines, including renowned panzer aces like Michael Whitman and Otto Carius. However, there were many other skilled Tiger commanders who fought bravely on both the Western and Eastern fronts, but their contributions have largely been forgotten over time. Franz Staudiger was one such lesser-known Tiger commander, Staudiger joined the army shortly after completing school in 1940. Initially assigned to the infantry training battalion of the 1st SS Panzer Division, Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler, LAH, he was wounded during his first skirmish as an infantryman. After recovering from his injuries, Staudiger underwent training to become a tank commander for the fearsome Tiger tank towards the end of 1942. He initially served on the Panzer III tank, but later switched to the Tiger after receiving a promotion. Although considered reckless by some, his courage was undeniable. Staudiger's most famous moment occurred during the Battle of Kursk in July 1943. The Battle of Kursk, which took place from July 5th to August 23rd, 1943, during World War II, was the largest tank battle in history. It was a major confrontation between the German forces, led by Field Marshal Erich von Manstein, and the Soviet Union's Red Army, commanded by Marshal Georgi Zhukov. The battle occurred near the city of Kursk in western Russia. The German forces planned to launch a large-scale offensive, codenamed Operation Citadel, with the aim of encircling and destroying the Soviet forces in the Kursk salient. However, the Soviets had received intelligence about the German plans and prepared an extensive defensive strategy. This did not stop the Germans from giving a hell of a fight, and this battle is known as the largest tank battle in history. The German forces performed overall exceptionally well, defeating nearly everything in sight. This battle, part of Hitler's Operation Citadel, is widely discussed and debated as one of the key turning points of the war. While Hitler hoped to achieve a decisive victory against Soviet forces, his miscalculations ultimately led to the loss of the entire Eastern Front. On the opening day of the Battle of Kursk, Staudegger encountered a tank blocking his path, only to discover that it was a Russian T-34. Despite the circumstances, he remained composed, armed a grenade, and threw it into the T-34 hatch. The resulting explosion revealed another T-34 positioned behind it, which he promptly destroyed with a second-hand grenade. Staudiger then returned to his Tiger tank and continued his journey. For his actions in destroying two tanks in close combat, Staudiger was awarded the Iron Cross First Class the next day. However, his feat was soon overshadowed by an even more remarkable event three days later. During Operation Citadel, the LAH Tigers were tasked with assaulting the Soviet defenses in the southern region of the designated area. Despite sustaining significant damage, including Staudegger's Tiger, the tanks were undergoing repairs and were unable to participate in the upcoming assault on July 8th. However, when news arrived that a large Soviet tank convoy was rapidly approaching, Staudegger made the spontaneous decision to conduct emergency repairs on his Tiger and face the enemy head on. With his crew's support, they hurriedly repaired the tank's tracks and advanced toward the approaching Soviet force, just in time to save remnants of the infantry battalion Deutschland from being overrun. Engaging the enemy, Staudegger and his crew destroyed three Soviet T-34 tanks with the assistance of the infantry. Despite encountering two additional Russian tanks, they swiftly eliminated the threat. As more Soviet tanks emerged, they were systematically destroyed, with Staudiger and his crew knocking out a total of 17 enemy tanks before the Soviets retreated. Although the Tiger sustained multiple hits during the battle, its thick armor proved impenetrable to the Soviet guns. Exhausted but determined, Staudiger ordered his crew to advance toward the Soviet positions despite running out of armor-piercing shells. They used high-explosive ammunition to inflict significant damage on the enemy, destroying five more Soviet tanks. Eventually, with the Tiger in danger of losing its mobility, 
Staudegger ordered a retreat. When they reached the German lines, their tank was heavily damaged, and the crew was on the brink of collapse. However, their actions successfully halted the Soviet attack. The heroic actions of Franz Staudegger and his crew on July 8th, during the Battle of Kursk, showcased the resilience and destructive capability of the Tiger tank. Their bravery and determination in the face of overwhelming odds played a crucial role in stopping the Russian attack and turning the tide of the battle. Staudiger's leadership and quick decision-making were evident throughout the intense engagement. Despite his Tiger tank being heavily damaged and undergoing repairs, he recognized the imminent threat posed by the approaching Soviet tank convoy. Without hesitation, he organized emergency repairs, rallied his crew, and set off to confront the enemy. The repairs were hasty, leaving the tracks in a precarious state, but they managed to get the Tiger moving just in time. Arriving at the battlefield, they joined forces with the remaining infantry battalion, who were already engaged in combat with the enemy. Together, they formed a formidable defense against the Soviet onslaught. With their high explosive ammunition, Staudegger and his crew skillfully targeted the Soviet tanks, inflicting catastrophic damage and causing chaos among the enemy ranks. The crew's loader, in particular, demonstrated exceptional efficiency in keeping the Tiger's arsenal supplied despite the physical and mental exhaustion. Although their Tiger had suffered heavy damage, and the crew was physically okay but mentally exhausted, they had accomplished a remarkable feat of courage and skill. Their actions did not go unnoticed, as Staudegger became the first ever Tiger crewman to be awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, one of the highest honors bestowed upon soldiers in Nazi Germany. Adolf Hitler himself recognized Staudegger's valor and personally invited him to recount the operation. Staudegger lived through the war, carrying the memories of his heroic actions, and passed away peacefully in 1995. His story, along with the stories of other Tiger commanders, serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit and incredible capabilities of the Tiger tank, solidifying its place as one of the deadliest weapons of World War II. It is estimated that Franz Staudegger destroyed around 50 tanks throughout the Battle of Kursk. However, what truly stands out is the day when he saved his fellow soldiers by single-handedly destroying 17 tanks in a single battle setting. This feat is both astonishing and extremely impressive, showcasing his exceptional skill and bravery on the battlefield. And with that, we reach the end of our incredible journey through the heroic combat of Franz Staudegger in the Battle of Kursk. We hope this video has shed light on the remarkable bravery and indomitable spirit of this legendary soldier. Remember, it is through stories like Franz Staudegger's that we gain a deeper understanding of history and everyone's sacrifices no matter who you are. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more captivating tales from history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And as always, feel free to share your thoughts and comments down below. See you guys soon.